everyone, I'm world traveler Stephen Vincent and welcome to Safiri. On today's episode, join me as I travel to a California town that once dreamed black. Traveling around the world and discovering little known black history are two of my favorite things. Join me as I travel to a remote part of Central California where I discover the little known black history story of Colonel Allen Allensworth in a town that dreamed black. about California's history. Now, I don't want to say California's storied history. I don't want to say California's illustrious history, but definitely in California's little known history. Believe it or not, there was a point in time when an all black town not only existed, but it thrived. Allensworth, California, a town that once dreamed black. When we think of the history of Allensworth, we have to look back to the town's founder, Alan Allensworth. He had a very interesting upbringing. Way back in 1842, he was born into slavery. He also taught himself to read, and in 1862, he escaped slavery and joined the U.S. military. After the Civil War, Allensworth became a very successful restaurant owner with his brother William in St. Louis. He also became a minister, a teacher, a pianist, as well as an organist alongside his wife Josephine, all while still serving in the U.S. Army. Allensworth eventually worked himself up to the rank of lieutenant colonel. He finally retired in 1906 as the highest ranking black officer of the time and the first black lieutenant colonel in the U.S. military. Allensworth was also a Buffalo soldier by being appointed chaplain of the 24th Infantry by President Grover Cleveland. Allensworth retired from the Army in 1906, settled in Los Angeles, bought a home, became a prominent civic leader, and sat on the board that led to the building of the Los Angeles Aqueduct. In 1908, Allensworth, along with his business associate, Professor William Payne, and three other black men headed to Central California to find this perfect location for a black settlement. Their goal was to build a town with the idea that African Americans could own property, learn, thrive, and live the American dream. They selected a spot halfway between Los Angeles and San Francisco for their new town. The site they selected for the town of Allensworth had plenty of inexpensive farmland and several natural artesian wells. All right, let's do the math. Colonel Allensworth was born in 1842. Allensworth was founded in 1908. So if we add this up, he was nearly 66 years old when he founded Allensworth. I mean, think about it today, being almost 70 years old, founding a town and building it yourself. I mean, that is incredible. Eventually, Allensworth, California grew rapidly, attracting enterprising black men and women from a variety of professions. When you think about it, this was amazing because at the time, and now we're talking the year 1908, there were nurses, business owners, educators, farmers, ranchers, retired soldiers, even craftspeople, all living successfully in their newfound utopia, which had also matured into a primary railroad transfer point. In its heyday, there were well over 300 families working, living, and thriving in Allensburg. Next time on Safiri, join me as I travel to Allensworth, California, where I experience the town's amazing history. 